thanks, Nelson. I appreciate that, man. And I, you know, and I, um, I always love the postal system, dude. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the postal system, you know, that could be, you know, like uh, when I was young, you had to use that thing. You know what I'm saying? You wanted to tell somebody you cared, bro? You better fuck in. You had to write it down, put it in, take one piece of paper, fold it up, put it into another piece of paper, get a special secret little thing, stamp, lick it, get to lick the back of it, dude. Already this sounds like something, you know, this sounds like a way you're going to end up high or something. Then you had to put the thing you licked onto the other thing, right? Then you had to write exactly where it was supposed to go on the front. Then you had to go put it in a box out in your front yard. If this doesn't sound like a fucking script for Narnia, I can't even tell you what does. Then a man you didn't even know who gets bit by dogs and animals all the time had to come and pick it up and take it away. And every now and then you would hear that one of those men went insane and shot up his work facility. And that was male. So I respect so much, uh, Nelson, you out there, you know, you out there still riding the rails, you know, because mail is it's really, man, it's the Greyhound bus of communication, dude. Anything can happen. Dude, when I lived in Tucson, Arizona, I used to live in Tucson, Arizona. I used to I was a bus boy out there for a long time at um, a place called City Grill. It was one of my favorite. I mean, I love that job so much, man. I love being a bus boy. You know, dude, you were just fucking slanging around and people were doing dope. And, you know, the guy who, who worked the oven would always be falling asleep and you wake that dude up before he fucking burn himself. Um, but they had a postman boss. Dude, this dude, he was on something, you know. He was gang ganging up in his wrist or something or just hiding, you know, grams of cocaine up in, the, up in his nose. Um, and he would come by like three nights a week, dude, midnight, 11 p.m., Throw all the fucking mail into the front yard, bro. Just bam, dude. He this dude was just like just making it rain, um, bills and coupons and um and just different shit via the mail. This dude would just fuck it, bro. Get your shit and cruise mail truck unmarked. He would spray paint other shit on the side of it, dude. Straight up. Just straight up a straight up real, just human vulture, man. So I know you guys are living wild out there, Nelson. And I appreciate you riding the rails, brother. Dark. I mean, that's the dark arts. That's the dark arts of delivery uh, communication right there. When you're out there still, you know, you're working that mail and you're fending off animals. Basically, you're somebody who has to fight animals. So you can get like perfume samples and coupons and grandparental. A lot of grandparents still use that mail system. And that, and that means so much that when you get that letter... From one, from one of your loved ones, you know? Like a lot of people in the Midwest, you know, a Midwestern grandmother, she'll fucking write you for no reason. She'll write you, man, and she'll just, and that, that letter feels so warm and just toasty and breasty. And you read that thing, and it smells like cookies and feelings. And, man, you do that for people. You're delivering those hitters, Nelson. So thank you for calling, and thanks for listening to this past week. And I love to know who's out there, who's out there. And whose ears are, are, am I helping babysit for a little bit of time on, um, uh, on a Monday? <laughs>